take you to better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration. All I'm saying is you can do it. I wanna hear. It's Vicky here from Crafty Hair and thank you very much for joining me today and today we're going to be making a 30th birthday card. Now at the beginning of a video, um, this video, you would have seen pictures of the card that we're making today but you would have noticed it um, said happy, you know, 10th wedding anniversary um, but um, I haven't got any anniversaries that are coming up um, anymore, well not for a long time anyway. Um, and it's my friend's 30th birthday, so we're going to turn this into a 30th birthday card. Um, the uh, anniversary card was for my neighbour, um, and it was their wedding anniversary the other day, so I made this card for them. But like I said, this is going to be a 30th birthday card, okay? So you're going to start with two pieces of thick whisper white cardstock, one that measures six by six inches. The second piece measures six by six and a half inches and along the six and a half inch side you're going to score it at half an inch and then when we folded that flap we're going to stick these two pieces together and it will make a six by six card okay then you're going to need the thinner piece of whisper white and you're going to need one that measures five and fifteen sixteenths of an inch by five and fifteen sixteenths of an inch and this is going to go on the inside of your card and it's going to cover up this flap here okay then you're going to need some gold foil um, cardstock and this is from Stampin' Up and this piece measures five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and then again another piece of the thin whisper white cardstock that measures five and three quarters by five and three quarters okay and these two are going to lay together and then they're going to be on top of the card so let's get started on assembling this card together so you're going to get the piece that's six and a half by six inches and you're going to fold that half inch flap that we had made i'm just going to get my bone folder okay i'm going to add some liquid glue to this flap here I can get it coming out like so and then get the six by six piece of card I'm going to stand them up and then I'm going to attach it this way and that way you know it's all going to be about level okay and then press that down Okay, and you can, with it being wet glue, you can um, move the card before it actually uh, sets. Okay, so that's the card base. So as you can see, we need to cover this inside panel. And you're going to get the piece that measures 5 and 15 sixteenths of an inch by 5 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And that's not the one. That's this one. And it's just going to cover up part of that well majority of that flap okay so I'm just going to get some actually now I'm just going to use Tombow glue here okay um, I did use double sided tape on the last one but I'm just going to for the quickness of the video I'm going to do it this way and add that inside Okay, I'm not going to press it down too hard because I don't want to get that glue seeping out. And again, with it being a wet glue, you can move it before you permanently stick it down. Okay, so now we're going to attach this gold piece and this is going to go on the front of the card. And at this point, if you wanted to add some ribbon, then you can do it. It's better to add it. Um, oh actually no, it's better to add it when these two pieces are stuck together and then you'd wrap it around this part and then stick it to your card, okay? But like I said, I can't use that ribbon um, just because I haven't got any left, so 
and I'm not entirely sure if that is actually gone now so I don't really want to be showing you ribbon that you can't purchase anymore if it is still available that ribbon that I used on the previous card then I put it on the screen below to tell you okay if it's still available so now we're going to do some embossing so the stamp sets I used um, were the flourishing phrases and I used this image here and also the number of years stamp set for the obviously the numbers um, and the happy birthday or happy anniversary okay so we're going to start with this image here and we're going to get the piece of whisper white that measures five and three quarters by five and three quarters and we're going to prepare this card with the embossing buddy and what this does it prevents any um because obviously we've been touching the card with our fingers once you add the powder to if you don't prepare the card with this embossing buddy the powder will stick to wherever your fingerprints have been okay so this prevents that powder going places that you don't want it to uh, go on your card okay okay so i've got my stamp on my block already and i'm using the versamark watermark stamp pad and i'm going to ink that up Okay, so I've inked that up with the Versamark and I'm going to have it coming off the edge, going into the centre. So I'm going to have it facing this way. So I'm going to press that down. Okay, I'm just going to press that nice and firmly. And um, You will not see it, uh, the image straight away until we add the embossing powder. Okay, but you, oh, you can see it slightly. There we go. And so I'm going to ink it up again. And this time we're going to come from this direction. Okay, so you press that down. I'm at a, a different, I'm filming in a different part of the dining room. Um, I now have the sideboard to have all my tools on and my work, you know, so I can work um, on here and everything's on hand all around me. So it's, I thought I'd try filming this way and see, but I'm not entirely sure about the loud lighting, so <laughs> I may have to go back to the dining table for that. So, yeah, so that's that one. And I'm going to get some gold embossing powder, okay, and I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. And when you heat set this, this card will warp, um, but don't worry about it because we're going to add some tape to the back um, and it will prevent it from, you know, um, we we'll make sure it sticks to the card, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So there we go. So now you need to go to your um, heat tool and you need to heat set this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? So you're going to add some double-sided tape to the back. And you need to make sure that you add plenty. Because like I said, it will warp your card. So as you can see, it's bent it slightly. But you do get that when you do embossing. Um, there's nothing you can do really to prevent that. So I'm going to peel off the backing of my double-sided tape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm going to add that to the front of my card. And um, my children are home from school Um so you're probably hearing them in the background so <laughs> i'm sorry if they're a bit loud so like i said if you wanted to add some ribbon it'd be best to add that to those you know to the white and the gold piece first before you stick this all down okay so that's what that's looking like so now we're going to do the 
30, 30th. So you're going to cut a piece of wisp of white cardstock and the gold foil um, cardstock out of the layering circles frameless dies and you get the circles and the uh, scallop dies in here okay and the one I used was I need to get a magnet magnetic sheet to put these on really was these two sizes here okay so I'm just trying to think I can measure it for you and tell you the size of the circle so the circle is about two and five eighths of an inch and the scallop is two and three quarters of an inch okay so we're going to emboss the white piece and we're going to use the 3O and the TH out of the number of years stamp set. <laughs> Can you hear Neve? She's singing. She was sent home from school today with a poorly tummy and uh, the wonders of cowpole. <laughs> so she seems a lot better now, which I'm pleased about because we're all on holiday next week and that's the last thing I want, well we all want, so okay, so again we're going to ink up the numbers with the Versamark ink and we're going to do the number three okay and again you won't be able to see that until we add the embossing powder um, we're going to ink up the zero. So hopefully I can see this. Okay, so add that one. And I'm just thinking we might not be able to add the TH because there won't be enough room, but that doesn't matter. As long as it's got the 30 on it, then we're not that bothered. So I'm going to skip out the TH. And again, I'm going to add the gold embossing powder. Okay. And this is what I mean about the powder. Go stick into the places where you don't want it to be. That's why it's good to use the embossing buddy. And I didn't use it for this piece, which is naughty of me. But uh, it's a good example to show you about the powder sticking to places. If you find that it does, just get a paintbrush and just wipe it off. Um with that okay so which I'll do that in a second and then we're going to do the sentiment so I'm just gonna move this powder to one side for this for a minute okay so just let me move this to one side and we're going to do the sentiment and I've cut a piece of whisper white and this piece measures two and a half by one and one eighths Okay, and we're going to do the happy birthday sentiment again with the Versamark ink pad. And I'm just going to uh, try and get this as central as I can by looking over the camera. Okay, and then we're going to do birthday. Um, it's about right. And again, add the gold embossing powder to that. So I'm going to bring that back in. And because there's powder on there already, I can just run it through like so. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to heat set these two pieces with the heat tool. Okay, so I've heat set them. And there, that's them done. So I'm going to attach this piece with liquid glue. Okay, and we're going to attach it to that scalloped foil. Okay, and then we're going to press that down because obviously it's warped. So I want to make sure it lays flat. Okay. And while that is 
setting I'm going to put something on top of it just so it to uh, make sure it does stay flat so I'm just going to sit some my stamping block on top of it just to keep that flat while it's drying okay and then that is going to go in this center part here and I'm going to add this piece now and to start with I want to add a border underneath well on the top and the bottom like that and this um, border here I used the flourish thin nets dies okay and I used this border thin net this border die here and I cut off you know five circles um, and I did two of them I also cut out some little flowers well yeah flowers and I wanted one that was going that way and one that was going that way so I cut out this one here and I cut out this one from this big one here but I only partially just cut this section here okay and I cut them out of that gold foil oh, and I also cut out two of the flowers in the foil and it's this one here okay so we're going to start assembling this together so we're going to add some liquid glue along the top okay and we're going to stick this onto here and i'm going to have it you know part of the circle is just peeping out over the top and we're going to like do the same along the bottom as well So I'm going to have that peeping out through the bottom as well. Oh. Just going to get that in to a position where I want it to be and then press that down. Or not, it decided he wanted to move. Okay, try again. Stay there this time. Okay, so also a good thing is you can see this glue that's stuck to my mat and also on my project. This is a lifesaver. This is an adhesive remover. Okay, and to get rid of this glue, you just got to rub it over. Just rub it over like you'd be rubbing out a pencil mark. And as you can see, the glue has gone and it's not sticky anymore and you can also do that to this piece here as well which is not where I definitely want it on and there we go it's gone love it so this is stamping up adhesive remover so if you have any glue that you don't want it to you know be on your project or anything this this is a fantastic tool to have so I want that positioned here okay um, but I want these flowers to be sticking out from the sides like so. Okay, so I'm just deciding if to add some foam tape to this piece first and then stick it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some foam tape um, to the back of this. Okay, and this will also keep that border in place as well. Okay, so I'm just going to, actually I'll leave that backing on for now and then we can position where these flowers are going to go. So I'm going to place that on there, like so, and then I'm going and can work out whereabouts I want these flowers sticking out. So I'm going to have it just peeping out, I've got a bit of glue on my fingers everything just wants to stick to it so I'm going to attempt to just add dots of glue to this so obviously I don't want too much on that it's going to seep out okay uh, try not drop it so 
So I'm going to position that about there, I think. I'm just going to press that down. Just let the glue do its magic on its own, I think. And add the second piece. And just have that under there, like so. And then they can go on top, like so. So I'm going to peel off the backing on the foam pad things. And attach that to my card. Ugh. See glue everywhere, all over my fingers. So I'm going to add that about mm, maybe a little bit more over, I think. about right I think make sure it's all central okay and then I've got the flowers and I'm gonna add, add them either side of the sentiment so again just add little bits of dobs of glue like so And again, get the second piece. Don't you hate it when you've got glue on your fingers and everything just sticks to it? Ugh, it's horrible. Okay, so I'm going to press that down. Okay, and then we're going to add the 30. And again, we're going to add some foam pads or um, dimensionals if you've got the ones from Stamping Up. I'm still trying to get through all my cheapy stuff that I got from Pound Shop <laughs> before I buy any Stamping Up ones. So, And then we're going to add the 30 to the centre like so. And I'm going to move that over slightly, I think. So then it all looks about central. I think that's as best as, best as I'm going to get. And then finally, I'm just going to add some uh, flat back pills. And I'm going to add one here. And... One there, and then one in the centre of the flowers, I think. And there we go. How pretty is that? Like I said, if you prefer, you could add some ribbon like I did on the previous card. Um, but I think it uh, looks nice without, or it looks nice with so uh, you choose so thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial please head over to my blog for the details of this project and i'll leave the links for that below and i'll also leave the link to my stamping up online store below where you can also go and find these products that i've used in the video so take care everyone and i'll see you soon